Well, let me first start by congratulating Karen Phelps. Uh, she ran a very, very vigorous campaign and it may possibly be successful for her. And You're expecting it to be successful by the sound of it? I am aware that it has been getting tighter, um, but uh, the numbers are still, I think, fairly difficult to overcome. But it's over. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> On Friday night, the Bellevue Hill branch of the Liberal Party, there in the heartland of Wentworth, held a forum with Tony Abbott, Craig Kelly, Andrew Hastie, all these right-wing warriors, to talk about resisting the left in Australia instead of campaigning on the by-election. And I just found it absolutely extraordinary. Um, can I just make one point? That is, if it were not for the uh, factional system in the Labor Party, you'd be the leader, wouldn't you? Well, <laughs> I think the um, Liberal Party might as well change its name to the Lemmings Party because, you know, they are <laughs> headed over a cliff big time and there's nothing going to stop it. I mean, the, the thought that there could be any reconciliation between what the one remaining Liberal left in the party and, and the conservatives, so-called conservatives, I agree with Peter, they are actually uh, reactionaries probably even to... The one the remaining. ...kind of word. Uh, yourself? I'm, I don't <laughs> accept that. I don't accept that. Considering the way Alex Turnbull, son of Malcolm, was able to mobilise voters to denounce the Liberal Party in Wentworth, should the Labor Party invite him to run as a Labor candidate in the next <laughs> federal election? Uh, no. And, <laughs> and, and, and I don't think, uh, with respect to Alex Turnbull's intervention, uh, I, I've never seen anything suggesting from him that he was a supporter of the Labor Party. Can I be mischievous? Um, I must say I thought Alex was a friend of the Labor card candidate and, in fact, advocated for the Labor candidate. That was my thought. And um, until the Labor candidate was essentially running dead, um, you know, he was out there advocating for him as a friend. Karen. My view is that the role of an independent on the crossbench is not to hold the government to ransom, it's to hold the government to account. And I think it's very important at this time when the government appears to be not only in confusion but in utter chaos, if you look at the last couple of weeks, but where's the middle ground? Where's the sensible centre? And, uh, and that's what I would seek to bring to the crossbench, is right. that sensible centre. I have reported this email to the Australian Electoral Commission and to the Australian Federal Police, and we're looking at what other authorities we might need to report it to. And I did it because I don't want this to be a feature of any future campaigns. You gave the email to the ABC, so you would have seen the full email, which Dave Sharma says contained vile and despicable slurs against him. Do you agree with that, his assessment of it? Because, uh, just to give you one example, it said, the full email, Dave Sharma belongs to Brahman. Only electing Dave Sharma into office can we make sure Australia will continue to open its doors to Indian migrants who are better than the convicts offspring. Now, he's taken that as a sort of racist slur. Uh, what do you think? Look, I, I just think that the whole email uh, was, was offensive uh, in, in many ways. It, it was telling people not to vote for me and to vote for somebody else. And so it, was, it, was, it wasn't exa exactly designed to help my campaign. Was, it, was it more likely, though, to be the product of a diseased mind, not a dirty trick from some political party or political players? I said during the campaign that I did not believe that this was the work of any of the political parties and that it was most likely the work of an individual. Uh, although it is hard to tell because it seemed to be a very systematic distribution of this email. Uh, and that's why I've reported it, so that the appropriate author authorities can deal with it and so that I'm not uh, hypothesising about where it's come from or, or who sent it.